for joining us. Nicholas Heath, the general manager at the W there. Uh, Nicholas, great to have you on. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Neil and Glenn. Uh, thanks for having me on the show today. Absolute pleasure. What is the current temperature at the W on Santosa? Do you know? Oh, it's always, always hot at the W. <laughs> 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 Good answer. Um, hey, the, uh, it's been an interesting time, as we know, the past couple of years. I know the Sentosa W and many other hotels around Singapore have really benefited from the staycation uh, phenomenon that uh, heretofore had not been uh, such a popular thing before the pandemic. Tell, tell us about what that has looked like for the W. Um, how much has your local... Uh, your local tourism grown uh, over these uh, these past almost couple of years now? No, it's a great question. Um, I mean, we're very blessed that we have always uh, welcomed staycations. It's a culture in Singapore, so we're very blessed that over the years, weekends uh, have always been incredibly busy with us, whether it be wedding groups, whether it be birthdays, anniversaries, or any reason to celebrate or get together with friends. So, for us, it's now, obviously, in the hospitality industry, as you well know, we've been very hard hit, uh, probably yeah. more so than many industries, um, without the international travel. So it's really been a blessing that uh, we were one of the first two hotels to open for staycation after the circuit breaker. Um, and obviously, for us, welcoming people to Sentosa and the island to get away. Um, and we've been doing that since July 2020. So... Um, it's really about the weekdays and the weekends and filling our business as much as possible because it has, for a lot of the time, been about survival. Um, you know, we've really had to adapt and adjust to um, what's happened without the international travel and obviously with restaurants and bars being closed for periods and how we've had to adapt our business, um, you know, in the food and beverage. And not using, so, not using the ballroom, yeah. right? Not using the ballroom, we've you know yeah, had well, several uh, events. Yeah, there, there were the times where we couldn't. Then there were times with restricted numbers, and then only yeah. solemnizations, and now weddings. So yeah, so that's a big part of our business. And actually, yeah. November and December are our busiest months for weddings. So so we're doing well. Um, but yeah, so we had to pivot. You know, takeaways, deliveries, how we serve food in the room. Uh, so people have experienced different things, but it's been an exciting time for us to learn uh, and, and understand our customers and their needs. Um, you know, and for example, when we had our skirt restaurant closed, you know, we created a high stakes dinner where we served a course menu in the guest room and people could still experience their vacation in a way and staycation that they can experience the facilities and experience uh, our food and beverage offerings. Yeah. Nicholas, you mentioned a very interesting key point there when you use the words getting away. We've had many, many comments from our viewers and listeners this morning talking about the staycations that they have booked, and nearly all of them have been at Sentosa. I mean, I don't know if you have anecdotal evidence for this, but is this, there is something psychological, isn't there, about literally getting away from the mainland. There are many, many offerings across mainland Singapore, mm. staycations, of course, and they all need help and support. But have you noticed anecdotally that Singaporeans do seem to want to literally, physically and geographically get off the mainland, even if it's just across the little causeway there? Well, I think absolutely. I think it's a state of mind, right? Um, you know, and, and Sentosa being the state of fun, right? So the idea that so you've gone from a big island to a smaller island is always something that people enjoy. Um, and now, obviously, with Sentosa, with the free ga gantry entry, there's no barrier. That, you know, that's obviously welcoming everybody to visit the hotels and the facilities and all of the offerings that Sentosa has. Um, you know, there's also now, for example, a ferry ride from Sentosa Cove, where we are, over to Lazarus Island. So you can go to an even smaller island. <laughs> And so, that's open to everybody? Didn't know that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's in the marina now. Uh, yeah, so that's something that people can, can look online and, <clears throat> and learn more about. I'll be doing that in the December yeah. holidays. I didn't know about that at all. That's that a, sounds fantastic. That's very interesting. What are your, what are your occupancy rates looking like uh, as you come into the holiday season? Is it getting pretty full of staking? Yeah, well, we're, we're coming into school holidays. I heard you mention earlier. So we have school holidays. We have uh, the festive season. And then obviously people are looking to uh, exhaust their vacation that they have to probably clear by the end of the year. So it, it, it's positive for us. 
uh, we're looking strong into you know to end of November and into December, which is which is great for our industry. Yeah. Obviously, with safe management measures and obviously with our SG Clean and Marriott Clean and our protocols and our safe distancing, we still have to manage our crowding and our uh, capacities and, and keep the social distancing and the spacing. So sure. we will be doing that. Uh, yeah. Have you noticed an uh, influx of VTL visitors uh, from overseas uh, coming into the W, well, you know, from Germany, well, from elsewhere in Europe? Yeah, this is super exciting for us and they and obviously keep adding uh, additional countries because – I think as we get back to a new normal, personally and professionally and obviously in, in business, that you know there is the desire to travel overseas and people can see family or visit other countries. But with that, for us, is the very positive uh, reality that people are looking forward to coming back to Singapore. Singapore has always been a very strong destination, and I think the government is opening up uh, the VTLs in a very safe manner because these are pre-qualified guests. Everybody we know is vaccinated and everybody we know is tested and nobody joins the general population until they have their final uh, negative test once they arrive in Singapore. So this is very exciting for us. We're obviously looking to, to, to build as much business as we can uh, as, we, as we welcome the world back to Singapore, whether it be to enjoy Sentosa or their shopping trips and all the things that we have to offer. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, the hospitality industry in Singapore has always been very, very competitive. And ironically, in some ways, it's become even more competitive for the staycation dollar because you've got Singaporeans, a captive audience for the most part, looking to go somewhere for their holidays. You have the great location. We mentioned that, the island there. You've got an, an you know, it's a five-star restaurant. But what else has a sort of W Hotel been doing to attract that staycation dollar in a very competitive industry? Yeah, well, first of all, I'd like to I'd like to thank Singapore for supporting the W Singapore. I think uh, it's it, it's wonderful to see uh, everybody in the community visiting uh, the hotel, visiting the island, and I think that's something to rediscover. Obviously, with the Singapore Rediscover Vouchers, which was a great initiative from the government to spur <clears throat> local tourism and to see the attractions and to and to have some well-being by staying in hotels. I think that's that's fantastic. I mean, we. What we're seeing is a great take-up from our loyalty program, which is Marriott Envoy. Uh, and there's a lot of people. We're a hub in Singapore, so people are collecting points as they've traveled over the years. And now they're enjoying using their benefits and, and collecting their benefits uh, with us here in, in Sentosa. So <clears throat> one of the things that we did recently is we partnered with a local um, industry, the chocolate industry, with Foster Chocolate. And we managed to collaborate in a, in a way where we created cocktails uh, and obviously experience is with the chocolate maker, with the masterclass of cocktail making and, and how chocolate is made. So these are the kind of experiences that we look to do uh, with, with the, also with the Marriott Bonvoy moment. So. Yeah, I have to tell you, where my family and I are using our Bonvoy points in New York City in December. Uh, Boy, New York City is not a cheap place for a hotel, is it? <laughs> I think we'd just as soon stay here and be at the W over the holiday. Well, I think, I think that what's happening around the world is that you have a lot of revenge travel. You have a lot of uh, yeah. pent-up travel demand. And, and obviously, hotels have to manage lower occupancies because of the safe management and to keep everybody um, you know, able to use the facilities. Um, so now I think there is definitely um, volume for hotels and especially our Marriott hotels with the strength of Bonvoy around the world where our rates are strong. Yeah, in that exactly. uh, And Nicholas, we're getting a couple of comments in real time coming in from our listeners and viewers. The ferry to Lazarus Island seems to be very popular <laughs> with our listeners and viewers, as it is with me. So I'll be going on that. Uh, Stanley C. asks a good question. Do we, because I've been asked this before, do we need to stay at the Cove in order to dine at the restaurants there? No, all of our facilities, both Wubar and the restaurants, the kitchen table and skirt, you don't have to be a hotel guest. But obviously, every restaurant, you have to have safe management measures and you need at the moment to be <clears throat> vaccinated and you can only dine. Uh, any more than two people has to be with family members. But it's the same across all dining venues in Singapore. But no, we're, we're welcoming guests every day for, to our restaurants to enjoy uh, our famous steakhouse and grill skirt and obviously for our brunches and our weekend uh, a la carte, a la carte buffets and different things that we're doing, yeah. 
Yeah, we're talking with Nicholas Heath, general manager of the W Singapore Sentosa Cove. Nicholas, the uh, one of the the best features of the W is that amazing pool you have, and uh, the ability to have different spaces out there and and use the beanbag chairs in the water. Has that experience changed much with the COVID regulations? Uh, is it like most places where you have to book a time to go down to the pool, or what's that looking like over this holiday season? Yes, we, we are restricted by the number of people, so we run a slot system, <clears throat> a booking system, and we try to get everybody out for at least a few hours a day. Um, mm-hmm. But it's, 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 There's obviously a mixed group of <clears throat> visitors. Some people like the sun and some people don't like the sun. So there's, uh, the unique factor is there's a, whether you want to come early morning or in the evening if you don't like the sun or in the daytime. We're also unique that our wet is open 24 hours, so... Uh, in the evening and in the morning, as well as the uh, nighttime, it's not busy, so there's a lot of opportunity for people to enjoy it. And the biggest hit is our slide. Um, you know, the slide W is, is an adult real? playground, right? So we have a slide for the adults, but we allow the children to use it. <laughs> so it's a real, it's a real hit for for everybody who's uh, coming to the wet. So uh, it's a great facility. Nice. Fantastic. And just looking ahead, finally, Nicholas. I mean, none of us have a crystal ball, and there's going to be peaks and troughs going forward. We know that as the pandemic does what the pandemic will do. But what are you sort of looking ahead towards in 2022? What are your plans? I mean, are you assuming for more VTLs? What does that look like for you? Well, I mean, I can't predict, as you say, but I think all of us are looking to the VTLs being successful and adding more VTLs and adding more destinations. And then obviously the, the group business. For us, every hotel in Singapore, as you well know, is a big meeting, incentive, convention, exhibition, uh, environment. Um, you know, and I think that is the international business that we're also looking <coughs> excuse me, to welcome back. Um, and it's a very positive outlook, hopefully, into the second half of next year. But it, it's, it's really unknown, and I think it's just a progression as, as – you know, the vaccination and the country's opening up and as we as we slowly emerge from this, we would hope to welcome back more international travel because what we see at the moment is leisure. I think the VTLs are mostly leisure, mm. uh, but as we get back to real business is the group business and the meeting business and, and, and people uh, visiting Singapore. Awesome. Uh, we will check in with you uh, in coming uh, weeks and months, Nicholas, to see how it's all going. On the slide. Hopefully. On the slide, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, thanks. And Nicholas Heath, the general manager of the W Singapore Sentosa Cove. Appreciate your time here this morning on Saturday mornings at Money FM. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. And you.